So today's job is uh, emasculating and bagging, which is a step in preparation of the breeding. Um, so we're not actually applying the pollen today, but what we're doing is isolating the female flowers. And we, we emasculate, which is to remove the male portion uh, to prevent self-pollination. Here's the staminate catkin, and this is the male part of the chestnut tree. And this is the bisexual catkin. As you can tell, it has the, it has the male parts, and it has the female inflorescence, which we identify by the pistils hanging out of the inflorescence. To remove the male catkins and the male portion of the bisexual catkins, we can use uh, tiny scissors, or they can sometimes be pinched off with the fingers or the fingernails, um, if, you're, if you're careful about it. Um, and after, after, afterwards, we put a bag over the unpollinated female flowers to to ensure that there's no accidental pollination. This process has to happen about 10 days or two weeks before the female flowers are pollen receptive. And we can estimate pollen receptivity by looking at the physical structure of the pistils. When the pistils are fur, when the pistils are fully exerted, they 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 begin to splay out in an angle and they change color from greenish and whitish to a sort of a, uh, a straw color. And we know at that point when they're fully exerted and straw colored, they are probably pollen receptive. So we need to complete this emasculation process well in advance, 10 days to two weeks before that. 